Hey guys, Brady here. I did a video on this the other day. I uploaded it, and then as soon as I uploaded it, I took it off because I felt it's a bit too uh, harsh on what I said. So I'm gonna redo the video entirely. Um, so to get things started, um, I love how people give Michael Bay shit for like ruining Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all that. But like, they don't really bat an eye at Rob Marshall. And Rob Marshall is an awful director. I mean, I've only seen two movies. Uh, Into the Woods was annoying. And uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 4 was just really, really bad. The, the beginning is like, like, this is not pirates. The beginning of this movie is like, this is not Pirates of the Caribbean at all. What the fuck is this? Why, why is... Why is Captain Jack Sparrow cross dressing or whatever? It was just it was just weird. Uh, he's like a judge with like oh, it was a weird way to start a move to start a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It was it was an awful movie. I was ex I was excited for it because it was about finding the Fountain of Youth, and I remember like learning about the Fountain of Youth like literally a year before the movie came out. So like oh my god, I can't wait to see the new Pirates movie. It's about finding the Fountain of Youth. And it just wasn't that good. Like, I was let down. Anyway, so yeah, Rob Marshall. And then he directed Mary Poppins Returns, which I didn't see, but I want to see. But I didn't hear good things about it. I don't know, well, I heard mixed things. But my friends who both saw without me, thanks assholes, um, said it was terrible. But I've heard goodish things about it. Uh, it was going to be in my most anticipated movies of 2018, but then I saw that Rob Marshall was directing it, and I just, like, deleted it off my list and replaced it with, uh, I think, Nutcracker in the Four Realms, because I was actually more excited for that movie, and the trailer blew me away, but I've heard not so great things about that movie either, but I haven't seen it yet, and I still want to see it. I, I still think the movie's going to be good. We'll see once I, wa once I finally get the chance to see it. Anyway, so yeah, so that brings us to his next film. The Little Mermaid. When I like I was I was just uh like this was like a couple weeks before uh my college semester ended and um and I was just looking up live action Disney remakes and I saw that Little Mermaid was getting remade. I was like, Oh yes, this is finally they're gonna be doing a little mermaid and then I saw the director like Oh, why does Disney keep giving this man money? Like why? Like, why, why does Disney love Rob Marshall so much? He's a terrible fucking director. I mean, come on, Disney. Like, stop giving Rob Marshall money. He's he's awful. He ruined Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, people didn't really care for uh, Mamma Mia, uh, not Mamma Mia, but uh, Mary Poppins Returns that much. So why do you keep giving him money? Oh, I see. Because Pirates of the Caribbean made $1 billion at that box office. And Mary Poppins Returns made what, like six hundred million, I think. Whoop you do. Uh, and I don't think Into the Woods did that well. I could be wrong. I don't remember the box office numbers for for Into the Woods. But like, I heard Chicago is pretty good. I haven't seen Chicago. I kind of want to see it because it has Queen Latifah and John C. Riley in it before he became uh, uh before he was in like movies like Step Brothers and Talladega Nights. And then he also directed Nine, which is one of the two movies to get a run score on Rotten Tomatoes starring the Daniel Day Lewis. Um, so yeah, nine is a uh cinematic shit stain on Daniel Day Lewis's uh filmography thanks to Rob Marshall. So fuck you, Rob Marshall, you ruined Daniel Day Lewis's streak. He had like one other Rotten Tomato on his uh rot Rotten Tomato on his filmography, but this this one like he had a good streak up until 2009 with the movie nine. I'm not talking about the burlap sack doll movie. I'm talking about nine with Fergie and uh, Daniel Day Lewis, and I forgot the others who were in it. But uh, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, in 2009, Disney is like, you know what? I love that movie. We should get that man to to direct our next Pirates of the Caribbean movie fuck is wrong with you disney you get a 
you get a director who's first whose two other movies before Pirates of the Caribbean were musicals to direct an action movie. That's like that's like getting Martin Scorsese to direct uh, uh, Mission Impossible Seven. Actually, he might do a good job with that. Martin Scorsese, if you're actually, no, I'm not going to even shout him out. I'm just, it's not his kind of movie. I that I, I want to stick with Christopher McQuarrie at this point. But yeah, so yeah, The Little Mermaid casting. I then I heard that um, Melissa McCarthy was rumored to be playing Ursula. And I was I was excited. I was like, if if that rumor is true, that is that is awesome. Like, I think Melissa McCarthy is a funny actress. She had some duds. Ghostbusters wasn't that wasn't that great. Tammy was god awful, um, but she did a she had a great performance in Saint in Saint Vincent. She was really good. She was really funny in Spy. Um, the Heat was hilarious. I. I love Melissa McCarthy. I think she's a funny actress. I I feel like people give her too much shit. She doesn't deserve this the shit she gets. Um, like I said, Tammy and Ghostbusters those were terrible. But like, that's it. I didn't think the boss was was that bad. I thought Life of the Party was pretty funny. Uh, I was happy to see Luke Benward back in a movie. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Melissa McCarthy is Ursula is perfect casting if it's true but it probably isn't like i said since it's just a rumor um but then we get to the casting of ariel and that's where it falls apart um uh, this is based off uh a danish fairy tale folklore or whatever uh so pretty much the whitest of white people and they got a black girl to uh sorry if that's racist i don't mean to be racist uh to play ariel and disney has been very accurate with who they pick to play their live action counterparts for their live action movies and they did a great job with the cast of aladdin they did a great job with the cast of beauty and the beast they did a great job with the cast of um jungle book and so on and so forth although I do think their casting for Alice in Wonderland was questionable. They chose the ugliest fucking blonde they could of to play Alice. Really? Mia would... Hold on one second. Mia... Mia Wasikowska? Oh, and she's an and on that. She's bottom build. A movie titled Alice in Wonderland and the girl that plays Alice is bottom build. That's That's weird. Uh, yeah, her. Her from Crimson Peak. They got her to play Alice. Like, was Reese Witherspoon unavailable? Or, um... Or, uh, any other great-looking blondes? Maybe Sarah... Sarah Paxton? Or, uh, Elle Fan... Elle, Elle Fan was probably too young at the point. She's my age. Um... Yeah, exactly. Sarah Paxton? Anyone? They, like... They they couldn't have chose an no offense to her, but I just don't find her attractive. Maybe she's attracted to other people. She, I just don't find Mia, whatever her name is, attra attractive enough. I'm sure she's attracted to like dozens of other people. I, but I for one just don't see it. Sorry if that's offensive to her. I don't mean to be offensive towards you, Mia, if you watch this. Um, but like, uh, yeah, they they they. So yeah, so I I'm not that big of a fan of who they chose to play Alice. They could have gotten someone a little bit better looking in my opinion no offense but uh yeah um because when i think of alice and one of alice in Wonderland, i th i think of mia was out what whatever the fuck her name is that i don't think of her at all but um i'm gonna turn that over because i don't like johnny Depp staring at me um but yeah so so yeah so now they have two fuck-ups they got they got they, they first it was Mia from from Alice in Wonderland. Now it's the girl that plays Ariel, and uh, the live action Little Mermaid, and it's just Disney's way of pandering to a demographic that probably doesn't really give a shit. I mean, the demographic may pretend to give to give a shit because they're finally getting a movie in the Disney canon, but they already got a movie in the Disney canon. It's called Princess and the uh, Princess and the Frog. God forbid, print, uh, Tiana is played by. Um, uh, I can't say Elfman because she's already in Maleficent. 
God forbid she's played by, I don't know, Jessica Chastain, for, for example. Like, that's never going to happen. They're never going to have Jessica Chastain cast as Tiana. They're not going to have Michelle Rodriguez cast as Tiana. It's just not what Disney's about. But when it comes to uh, gender, uh, not gender swapping, uh, race swapping, uh, a white character, they're all for it. Like, yeah, fuck the white people. We're, we're not going to cast them as... We're not gonna cast a natural redhead as, as Ariel. We're just gonna get. We're just gonna find someone of a different race. Like, come on, really? We all we all know what you're trying to do. You're trying to be hip. You're trying to be what the kids call woke. And I don't like using that word because it's millennial. And I don't like using uh, slang like that because I think it's just stupid. But it's true. They're just trying to be that word. Um, and I just don't see it. I mean, maybe she could give a good performance. Maybe she could, like... Maybe when the movie comes out, the movie could be really good. Uh, uh, Halle Bailey um, could be really good. She could give an outstanding performance. And I could be all wrong. And I will admit that I'm wrong. But, like, at the same time... Um, they, it's questionable that they didn't get, like, a redhead actress. Like... I am fine with gender, uh, not, with uh, race bending. Like I didn't really care all that much when uh, Zendaya got chosen to play MJ. Um, I didn't. I know there's been other instances of of um, gender swapping. Uh, I didn't really care for Michael B. Jordan being casted as a uh, as um, what's his face from uh. I didn't care for Michael B. Jordan being cast as Johnny Storm in their uh, Fantastic Four remake um, or reboot, whatever you're going to call it. I didn't care that Heimdall is played by Idris Elba. I know he, I know he was white in the comics, but I don't really care. And I don't even care that Nick Fury is 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 played by Samuel L. Jackson. That's fine. That's fine and all. They're they're fine, fine actors. Hell, I want Idris Elba to be the new James Bond. Like, I think he'd be a great James Bond. I know people are like, oh my god, I don't want a black James Bond. But I, for one, would like, if they ever make a black James Bond, give it to Idris Elba. He's a fantastic actor. Uh, I would love to see him as, as James Bond. He, he just looks like James Bond. Um, But, like, this is just, like... It's just that Ariel is such an iconic character and like a lot of people who are redheads look up to Ariel because she's because she's a redhead. I mean, there's not that many redheads in the world. They're like a very rare, um, I guess, hair color. I don't know. And um, and that like a lot of people who are redheads are hurt that they didn't get a, a redhead actress to play her. They got someone that isn't redhead and isn't even white so um they have gen the, the redheads they have every right to be uh be upset I, i'd be upset if i was a redhead i'm not i have brown hair or whatever color this is but like it's just it's just a double standard like like i said god forbid god forbid we, we we casted like michelle rodriguez as tiana and uh in Princess and the Frog, or or if we remade Black Panther, we 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 get like a, a we we cast um Ryan Reynolds as 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 uh Takala. It's just I don't know. So does that mean like, and it, although I did hear rumors that uh Terry Crews is going to be trying, and if that's true, I kind of want to see that if Terry Crews is the father. Of Ariel, I would I would see that just for Terry Crews, as I, I I love Terry Crews. Terry Crews is hilarious. So, if they get him into the movie, then I could just throw this video out and be like, yes, Terry Crews all the way. But as of right now, uh, I think that's just a rumor. Um, yeah, just like they 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 goofed on this they 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 know what they're doing they're 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 pandering and it, and it's just it's just like i shouldn't say it's wrong but like you've got 
an iconic character with an iconic look that a lot of girls look up to and you're changing it just for the sake of being politically correct. I, I don't, I don't like that at all.